How's it going everybody? This is Jose from the Stock Market 101 channel and I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Well today we're going to be talking about the cannabis sector and specifically we're going to be talking about three pot stocks that stand out of the crowd especially now since in Canada recreational use of cannabis is legal so we're gonna have to see how these cannabis companies perform throughout the end of the year and going on to next year and one cannabis company that does stand out and is one that i own is in fact canopy growth and one thing that makes canopy growth stand out among the other pot stocks is that the four billion that constellation brands put into the company a few months ago and this was big news in the cannabis industry as if this news made almost every single cannabis company jump dramatically and constellation brands is one of the largest and smartest liquor companies in the world having begun as a small new york wine producer and grown into a giant with beer brands such as modello constellation is a legitimate player with 7.5 billion in revenue and a dividend of nearly three dollars per year and it has a market cap of 42.5 billion their willingness to put a big portion of that into canopy which is a 38 percent stake put the whole sector into overdrive canopy growth stock has a market cap as you see here of 10.2 billion but it has built on sales of 77 million dollars in 2017 48 million dollars for the first six months of 2018 and in a lot of hype this week on october 15th canopy paid about 330 million to acquire the assets of ibu a hemp research company in colorado so keep your eyes up on canopy growth as it's one of the bigger cannabis companies and one of the more safer investments another one to look out for is chronos group what sets chronos group apart is the fact that it was the first company to list on the nasdaq since listing in canada in 2016 chronos value has grown 6500 percent 6500 percent that is a massive gain in just a few years chronos reported revenue of just over 4 million in 2017 and about 6 million for the first six months of 2018 the balance sheet shows that they have about 5.3 million in debt in june against the 9.2 million in cash by pushing the idea of marijuana as a pharmaceutical and as a raw material from which drugs can be extracted chronos hopes to enter the u.s market with products before mass legalization and thus gain scale that it can use to grow into the market as it matures and another cannabis company to look into is MedMen. Let me see if I can get this ticker symbol right. <laughs> there you go. And this is not a Canadian company. It is not a pharmaceutical company. It sells pot to medical marijuana patients who need it and recreational users in locations where recreational use is legal. The goal of MedMen is to gain distribution in the medical pot business that will let it expand into the recreational side as it develops. It has dispensaries in four U.S. states, including high-profile locations like Manhattan and Las Vegas. Men Men went public in May, and it announced its acquisition of Pharmacan for a reported $682 million in stock. Buying medical will add licensed dispensaries in other states, mainly in the Midwest, to its network, giving it a total of 79 cannabis facilities in 12 states. Since the announcement, the stock is up. 51 percent ceo adam bierman said that the acquisition made medmen the largest u.s cannabis company and the world's largest cannabis market and once the u.s legalizes recreational use in cannabis at a larger scale this company will be one of the first ones to reap the benefits let me know if you guys are interested in any of these three companies right now i am invested in canopy growth but i am following many different cannabis companies closely as more news comes out i just keep finding out more and more companies that i haven't heard from before and it's interesting because there are so many small players in these games and only a few will make it out alive as time goes on 
And that's the end of the video, guys. Please drop a like, subscribe, turn post notifications on. And are you guys bullish on any of these three stocks? Let me know in the comments. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one.